Hello, my pupilos, and welcome to a new Spanish lesson with me, Sebas. As you see, I'm making a video again in the beach, but this time in a different season. As here in South America we're approaching to the summer, now it's time to go to the beach more than ever. What a better place for learning Spanish more than the seaside, isn't it? Well, before I go down to take a little sunbathe, let's make a second lesson about the irregular verbs. As you probably seen in my last video, we might classify the irregular verbs into 12 different groups. And I'm saying the majority because there are some irregular verbs that don't fit with any of these groups. So, as you saw in my last lesson, in this kind of video, we're looking a little forward and seeing some conjugation that we haven't studied yet. And please, don't get scared about this. For beginners, it's okay if we just know the indicative mode for now. And you will see that once you get to the further lessons, it will become easier to understand. So, now that you know that we must focus on the rules of these groups instead of the verbal times, let's see the groups number four and number five from the irregular verbs. Dicho esto, empecemos. In this group, we have to change the consonant C of the last syllable for a C, C in the first person of the singular form from the present simple in the indicative mode and for all the present on the subjunctive mode. It has also some variations on the imperative mode. Remember that we are looking forward for some verbal times that we haven't seen yet. But if you want to order yourself a little, you should watch my video about the introduction to the Spanish verbs to remember about these modes. I have a nice clue for you. The regular verbs from this group have the following terminations. Hacer, ser, o ser, and ducir. Please, pupilos, always consider that for any rules, there are some exceptions. So, there might be some verbs with these terminations that don't fit in this group. Now, let's see some examples of the present simple in the indicative mode for a verb with hacer and eser terminations. And then, an example of the present simple on the subjunctive mode with verbs with oser and usir terminations. And finally, we will see the imperative mode with two other verbs with eser terminations which are the most abundant verbs from this group. Nacer, to burn. Yo nazco. Tú naces. Él nace. Nosotros nacemos. Vosotros nacéis. Ellos, ustedes, nacen. As you see, the only conjugation that changed is the first person on the singular form. Let's see another example with a third termination. Crecer, to grow. Yo crezco. Tú creces. Él crece. Nosotros crecemos. Vosotros crecéis. Ellos crecen. Now, let's see some examples of the subjunctive mode. Conocer, to know. Él conozca. Tú conozcas. Él conozca. Nosotros conozcamos. Vosotros conozcáis. Ellos, ustedes, conozcan. As you see, now the rule from this group applies for the whole verbal time. Another example. Lucir, to look. Yo, luzca. Tú, luzcas. Él, luzca. Nosotros, luzcamos. Vosotros, luzcáis. Ellos, luzcan. Now, Let's see the imperative mode. We will use two verbs with a ser termination. As I said before, the great majority of these groups end with this termination. Ofrecer, to offer. Ofrece, ofrezca, ofrezcamos, ofrecer, ofrezcan. Aparecer, to appear. Aparece, aparezca. Aparezcamos, aparecer, aparezcan. Group number four. Well, I have to say that this is the smallest group so far. So there are just a few verbs from this group. The rule for this one is that this verb disappear the vowel E in the third person of the past symbol of the indicative mode and in the imperfect preterit of the subjunctive mode. I will say it again, pupilos. These are verbal times we haven't seen yet but no worries, you will learn them with Sebas anyway. At least, I hope so. And good news for you again. 
We can deduce the verbs of this group because of the termination, which are NIR and UYIR. Let's see an example of the past simple of the indicative mode. Gruñir, to growl. Yo gruñí. Tú gruñiste. Él gruñó. Nosotros gruñimos. Vosotros gruñisteis. Ellos, ustedes, gruñeron. The usual conjugation for the third person form would be gruñó and gruñeron. But, as you see, that rule doesn't apply for the verbs of this group. So those forms would be incorrect. Now, let's see the conjugation in the perfect predicate of the subjunctive mode. Zambullir, to dive. Yo, zambullera. Tú, zambulleras. Él, zambullera. Nosotros, zambulléramos. Vosotros, zambulleráis. Ellos, zambulleran. As you see, in this verbal time, the vowel I disappear for all the conjugations. Y bueno, mis queridos pupilos, esto es todo por hoy. Don't forget that you must stay tuned because I will complete the other lessons about this topic. If you have any question, opinion, or recommendation, please go ahead and leave your comments below. And if you like this video, thumb up and subscribe. Soy Sebas y hasta la próxima. Y ahora sí, me voy a la playa.